Who doesn't remember the brilliant launch of the James Webb Space Telescope in the summer of 2022? Since then, science has been upside down, and until now, no real answers to the impossible discoveries have been found. But possibly Euclid will now change that. Does dark matter really exist, or is it just a product of our imagination? There is a new space telescope that might be able to answer that question. It's called Euclid, and it has just opened its eyes for the first time. With its advanced technology, this telescope may finally provide the answer scientists have been searching for decades. We may even find the geometric blueprint of the universe. What Euclid can do is look as far back in time as James Webb. Euclid will scan and map the universe at a radius of 10 billion light years. That means the telescope won't look anywhere near the supposed Big Bang 13.8 billion years ago. But what can this telescope do? Euclid will survey the universe with greater precision and detail than any other telescope before it. What can we expect from this mission? And can Euclid answer the big questions of cosmology? Possibly the problem with Euclid is that it was constructed when no one knew about the impossible galaxies that James Webb discovered at that time. The world of astronomers was still in order. They had their theory of the Big Bang and the oldest galaxies and stars that somehow fit the picture. Now everything is different. It looks quite as if the Big Bang never existed or the universe is far older than we previously thought. The ESA Space Telescope will give us a perfect 3D map of the universe. That means we'll soon be able to virtually click our way through the cosmos in a unique way. But what do scientists have to look forward to? Of course, researchers that have been stumped since James Webb are now hoping to get answers from Euclid, the 1.4 billion euro telescope, which has two main missions, to give us the best 3D map of the universe ever and to probe the mysteries of dark matter. Knowledge of the existence of dark matter could also provide much-needed answers regarding the errors surrounding the Big Bang and the calculations that serve to accept the Big Bang and the standard model of cosmology dark matter plays a crucial role. The catch is that the existence of this matter which no one can see or measure has not been proven to this day. Again, all eyes now rest on Euclid. What did you see so far? Euclid first opened its eyes on July 28, 2023, and has been sending razor-sharp images since July 31st, at a distance of 1.5 million kilometers, ESA's technical masterpiece unfolded its observation mirrors and peered into space for the first time. After extensive tests and calibrations, the telescope sent its first test images. These first images presented to the public, showing impressive views of the stars and galaxies of the universe. This image is from the VIS camera and shows a section of the sky containing about 100,000 stars and galaxies. The resolution is about 0.0. 1 arcsecons, which means it can separate objects that are only 0.1 arcsecons, or about 500 m apart, at a distance of 10 billion light years. This image is a testament to the power and precision of the VIS camera, which shows far more objects in one image than Hubble or James Webb do. Hubble has a resolution of about 0.05 arcsecons, but a field of view of only 0.01 square degrees. James Webb has a resolution of about 0.1 arcsecons, but a field of view of only 0, 0.002 square degrees. Euclid's perfect combination of high resolution and large field of view will allow it to image the large-scale structures of the universe for the first time. The second image was created with the NISP camera and shows a section of the sky containing about 200,000 stars and galaxies. The colors in this image represent different wavelengths of near-infrared light, with blue being the shortest and red the longest. The resolution of this image is about 0.3 arcsecons, which is slightly lower than the VIS camera. VIS camera stands for Visible Imager for Euclid, and this camera will map the shapes of billions of distant galaxies. Researchers expect to detect many gravitational lensing effects through the camera, and these could reveal distant secrets of the universe. An ISP stands for Near Infrared Spectrometer and Photometer. This camera system is specially designed to measure the redshift in space, which gives clues about its distance and the expansion of the universe. It can also map the distribution of dark matter in space. The NISP camera can take images that are much wider and redder than those from previous or current space telescopes, such as Hubble or James Webb. This will give Euclid the most perfect redshift astronomers have ever possessed, and here there may be a surprise. 
but more on that in a moment. These sample images from Euclid's cameras are just a taste of what this amazing space telescope will be capable of in the years to come. Euclid will show the universe in unprecedented detail and precision. For the first time, we will have a map of the dark universe at our fingertips, allowing us to understand some of the most fundamental mysteries of cosmology. Redshift put to the test. Currently, scientists are tearing their hair out over how James Webb can show galaxies that can't actually exist. The problem has several solutions, and one of them says that redshift may not have been measured or evaluated correctly. James Webb's measurements have now been confirmed by all the major stationary telescopes on Earth. There remains one small possibility that researchers will now clarify with the help of Euclid. In the 1920s, Swiss astronomer Fritz Wicke proposed an interesting theory that light could fatigue as it travels through space, and therefore change color frequency. Wicke's theory was long forgotten, but now his errors and redshift are suspected. Some astronomers remembered the tired light theory. The bottom line is that only new observations and evidence can bring certainty, and finally show us the beginnings and true origin of the universe. Although this was not originally part of Euclid's remit, thousands of puzzled scientists worldwide are now looking at this new telescope and its view of the universe. Euclid could shed even more light on the universe through its research into the true nature of dark matter. We may find further errors or confirmations of previous theories of the Big Bang and cosmology. In the standard model of cosmology, dark matter makes up about 27% of the universe and plays a key role in structure formation by helping to hold galaxies and clusters of galaxies together. According to the Big Bang theory, dark matter influenced the expansion and evolution of the early universe. But what if dark matter doesn't exist at all? Is dark matter a mistake? One of the greatest mysteries in modern physics is the true nature and existence of dark matter. This invisible substance, which supposedly makes up most of the mass of the universe, can provide answers or leave us bitterly disappointed. For decades, scientists have been searching for clues as to what dark matter really is, how it behaves and how we can prove it. So far, they have found no direct evidence of its existence. Its presence has been inferred only from its gravitational effects on normal matter, such as stars and galaxies, and rests as pure theory. By no means every scientist agrees that dark matter is real. Some alternative theories propose that there is no need for dark matter and that the observed phenomena can be explained by modifications of the laws of physics or gravity. The modified Newtonian dynamics or MON theory alternatively proposes that our notion of gravity is incorrect on large scales and needs to be adjusted. Dark matter could be a mistake and lead to more and more wrong conclusions about the universe. Is there a way to test whether dark matter really exists or not? All hopes lie with Euclid the telescope is designed to study the dark universe with unprecedented detail and precision including by imaging the distribution and evolution of hypothesis dark matter and dark energy. Friends, what are your thoughts about this? Tell us in the comments. If you liked the video, then share it with the space enthusiasts who are interested to watch this type of content. Subscribe to our channel for more similar content like these. See you in the next video. Until then thank you for watching.